Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Hot Taxi episode number 6. Okay, the previous episode was another fantastic episode and this anime has been up until now providing one after the other good episodes back to back and this has been an amazing experience so far. I'm loving each and every episode and it's great. Like every episode has so much things to talk about you know like <laughs> i remember the first episode i had like you know uh, like i think i talked about like 20 minutes in the discussion section and then it started increasing increasing and the previous episode i was talking like how much like 35 minutes i've been talking about the whole episode like and it's still not enough to talk about so much things that one episode is able to provide and it's impressive uh, the previous episode a lot of things happened the first thing we got to know is the whole thing with shirakawa and like you know dobu basically told everything to odokawa like what has been happening and why shirakawa is you know like interacting with him all that stuff and in a way she like you know uh, dobu kind of threatens uh um, odokawa you know and odokawa uh, to like you know like threatens him about shirakawa stuff like that to tell everything and uh, odokawa does that and then after that like you know a few more things happen the whole uh, manager gets in with the idols and uh like uh, then uh, we get to know that most probably that uh, the manager is actually telling the black uh, furred cat girl i forgot her name uh, telling her to interact with other people uh, for money or something i'm not sure something like fishy is going on and i think that's why she's interacting with ag and like you know uh, for basically because of that and also like we also got to know i think a little hint was given that uh, the boss's friend's daughter who has been missing is most probably one of the person from the idol agency now obviously i think i can guess who it is because as we saw from the cctv footage the person who is missing is a blackfoot cat girl which is very identical to one of the idol girls so i'm guessing that's the girl who's missing and there i don't know like what's happening but yeah something like that is going on most probably also uh, ag took out a loan and yeah he needs to stop otherwise bad stuff is going to happen <laughs> this won't end up good so yeah so yeah guys uh, let's get started this is episode number six i think yeah episode number six yeah episode number six of Art taxi so without further ado let's get this video started so i'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's start this video all right so here's the countdown three two one go Oh, wait. Wait, the who? Yeah, this was not before. Or was it there? Oh my god, it's too loud. Is the song a little bit different? I think so. Like this. Yeah, it's different. Oh, wow. It's kind of different in a way. Yeah, yeah. The song and the visuals are kind of mixed. And that was very short. Okay. All right, let's see. Let me hear you say what the hell. All right, let's see who will be the passenger this time. Oh, it's a guy who's big fan. Mr. Kiss fan. Why? Tank? What? Oh. Oh, yeah. Wait, no, no. No. God. 
Nah. Oh, okay. I think he needs to say that. Sama. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, that thing happened. Okay. <laughs> so, so he's rich now? What? Billion? Wait, really? Bill? Yeah! <laughs> In... Wait a minute, didn't he? Oh no! Wait, he... The... The number is there! Like he showed it in social media. Okay, I don't know. Hmm. Hirakawa. <laughs> Sama. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully he gets the money. He, he came to Kabukicho? Oh no. Okay. Free service for life. For life. Ha. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dumb petty. As always. Yeah, it's uncomfortable. Uh. Whoa, what is this? Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. <clears throat> Missed call, Shirakawa. Oh wow. Oh, did he? S oh no. Whoa! Was that a gunshot? Oh no, it's... Is that... Tanaka? That was his name, wasn't it? Yeah! Lord... Wow! God... Oh no... Oh! Oh my god, this guy! Wow, like... Just because of a gacha game. Man, obviously like he had his own problems as well. I'm not denying that, but... Still, like... Um... Um, are you? Oh no, did he just shoot him? Okay, thank God. Yeah, you, you, you keep <laughs> like, <laughs> like really? Wow! Oh my god! Yeah, really? Like, <laughs> like that's ah. Oh. 
Oh, great. Oh, she's here. Uh, yeah, the glass has been... Come on, talk. Uh. Oh boy. <laughs> this girl doesn't mess around. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, the whole thing with Dogo. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, what? Yeah, that's something new. Um, Large amount of money. Yeah. Yeah. True. Hmm. Bring him the patient list. Whoa! Oh no! In in a taxi? Well, I guess. Okay, I believe her. You know, like the. Ah. Uh. Then three million. Mm. Oh, boy, weak. Oh.
God. <sighs> well. God. <laughs> All right. Part ten job. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh wow. Wow. <laughs> taco taco loans oh no he's here to take loan again oh my god hmm. um Yeah, back in my days. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Okay. He's going to. Oh no, patching. Oh great. Nagashima Satoshi. Oh boy. What is he even thinking? He's eating sushi here. What, like... Ah, uh, oh boy. What the hell? Another creepy person. Who is this? Is it giraffe? Oh, no, that guy! Who writes letters? I mean, uh, the fan mails. God. Wow. Oh, no. oh my God. Yeah, that was going to. <laughs> that was going to now. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> this guy's after you, Odokawa. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Hmm.
Torture you to death. Oh boy. Yeah, kind of true. No way. Yeah, but he doesn't show it in his face. What? Halloween guy. <laughs> Yeah, true. Hmm. What? Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, right. Loan. The loan for Shirakawa. Yes. I don't think he will... Okay, he did, okay. All right. And check. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Say the group photo. <laughs> yeah. What? Oh! Okay! <laughs> True. Alright. But that's like, uh, like for... Like if we're lucky enough. <laughs> oh, wow. Number one. He doesn't even know. Babakun. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh boy. Oh wow, this guy is um God, this guy doesn't even listen. What the hell? <laughs> wow, what a jerk. Uh. Wait, are they? <laughs> All right. Like you're the opposite. Um, what? Yeah, like that's. Uh. <laughs> I don't want to play with horses. 
हम ओके इज दिस अ न्यू एंडिंग Yeah, he's living his life. Successful. Mm. Damn. Oh boy. overseas wow this ending is really catchy i feel bad for him i cannot they have been friends for so long and now because of this Wow, is that okay? Is, that's that's the end. <sighs> Damn, this episode. Ah, okay. Um, all right. The first part of this episode, we see um the fan. Uh, he now he's now one thing I didn't. think about before like this happened before in the one of the previous videos uh the previous episodes where we saw him actually you know posting in social media that oh i've won a billion yen like here it is like you know number 1 and you won't believe me like with the picture now i don't think i noticed that before but he has not censored the number has he like let me Just a sec. Where is it? Okay. Um. All right. Uh. Imai Nikaido fan. Oh, his name is Nikaido. Uh. Fan account. Fan account. What? Okay. Uh. I can't stop shaking. Yeah. I think he has not censored it. Has he? Like. like like aren't you like i don't know like i'm not sure how these like happen in like you know in japan but isn't there like a code in the like you know a, a series of numbers which you should not let others know like he's like posting it in social media won't that be a problem i'm not sure about this you know like i have basically no idea but i think like I don't know. Okay, let me take a uh, look at the ticket. Yeah, there is a, a hu huge serial number with a barcode as well. Like you know, like here it's like the two one zero one two one eight. Like this number. Like isn't it? What can I say? Like isn't it a problem if you show this to everyone? I'm not sure. So uh, I don't know. Like the way <laughs> you know what this. this anime what it does is actually it it kind of like you know goes well for a certain character everything is going well and then it crashes down and that like you know like we kind of saw that pattern before like the whole thing with tanaka and now this like i'm kind of getting concerned about him because the way like you know the anime is showing that he's like oh i've got a billion yen i can do anything Uh, uh okay otokawa uh, you're getting full uh, like you know your full life free membership in in the kabakura where i work you know uh, anything you want you can ask for and it's all free like, you know because you saved my life like and i like, you know a few other things like this he's doing and he, he's saying like i'll like you know cover the taxi oh but he is a sorry not that <laughs> Uh, so I was going to say that like, I have to cover the taxi ride, there, but then I realized that oh, he is actually a customer. He he is supposed to cover the taxi ride. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, um, so yeah, like these type of things. He like it's feeling as if they're showing us that he's counting his chickens before it even hatched. And that scares me because yeah, these type of things does not usually go well by the end because the way he's so excited, I can see some problem happening in the future with this. You know? Like maybe some like you know, suddenly he gets to realize that oh, like yeah, like something happens and he won't get the money or something and then he'll be devastated like i don't know like maybe i'm <laughs> maybe i'm like you know being paranoid but yeah <laughs> okay all right so here in the kabakura they get in and in comes tanaka with the mask and now he thankfully he was not found here and only it only went like and i'm not sure i think the um, yeah it must be him it must the, the person who broke the window it must be tanaka because he was following him and then he i'm sure he saw his taxi and got in the kabakura and uh broke the door did something i think i'm not sure maybe searched for something and then went outside uh, went inside the kabakura to actually find him i don't know but it was unable to find him but yeah now uh okay the 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 guy from the homo sapiens like the thing that he said there like you know uh just a sec later on in the radio show or the i think there was a radio show yeah where he and baba was like talking um okay where all right here it is uh they're talking about the like shooting like you know where is it like he says something like you know unless and until you get hurt it's not comedy or something what what did i can find that portion um okay All right, let me just see that scene again. Like, I saw a little online news about the story. I was seriously shocking. I had a gun pointed at me. The police interviewed me afterwards too. Um, Shibakaki, oh, his name is Shibakaki, okay. Of Homo sapiens encounters armed robber at part-time job. Part-time job sounds lame. Um, I'm the one who chased off the robber. Okay, here it is. No way, I think it's okay to hurt one person to make 10 people laugh. Wow, this uh, line. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> oh god, like... <laughs> you know, um, funny thing I actually remembered from this line is that there's, you know, there's this whole section of comedy in anime where we usually see like you know as a single character getting beaten up by uh, like you know others like you know like smacked on their head and like you know and like that's basically like uh, like the the comic relief of the show or something like that they're called you know and is getting physically like you know slapped or something or like something like that and like everyone's laughing at that and it, it's like a comedic type of thing that anime has and i've seen a few people like you know actually like not a few but i've seen a lot of people who are quite new to anime kind of misunderstand that like you know when like this usually happens in um, uh those harem animes you know like this is one guy and he gets beaten up by the girls and i've seen a lot of people like you know i'm, I'm sure they're new to anime and they don't actually realize this you know like say that oh like what's happening why is he getting beaten up like you know i don't like th that girl because of that and like you know there's like yeah like these type of things like they get mad at that and <laughs> funny thing is like like 
I like you know as I also got into anime I kind of realized that this is actually a part like you know of comedy in anime where there's like a person who kind of gets beaten up and like you know that's like the funny thing about it you know like uh like that's basically the comedy and I think it's called slapstick comedy I'm I think that's that's the term they use for this and anime has a lot of them and there's usually a lot of people who actually don't realize that when they're new to anime and they are like oh like you know it's getting beaten up and everything and i think the very what can i say popular example of this type of comedy is naruto where sakura basically beats up naruto most not beats up but you know kind of smacks him like you know in his head and like you know <laughs> slaps him or something like that and people used to kind of like you know get pissed at that and like I, I think most of the hate for Sakura is because of that and like that's part of the comedy and I actually realize that now and this line that this guy says here <laughs> that hurting one person to make 10, 10 people laugh <laughs> that basically constitutes comedy in a lot of animes like you know like it's basically like you know hurting someone and laughing at him <laughs> and it's kind of funny it's like basically he kind of like you know explained that whole thing to us and uh, yeah <laughs> i'm not sure if that's intentional or unintentional but that's really great and sometimes like you know like as he like he says this that if one person gets help to make others laugh he kind of took it a little bit too far as to he just like you know went uh, in front of the person who's ha like you know holding a gun and he's like oh what is this a prop are, are you doing this for halloween and stuff like that he was saying and like he, he would have gotten shot at that moment and i'm sure he knew what he was doing and his mentality was like, okay, like I need to do something funny here so that I become, uh, you know, like a little bit, uh, what can I say, like, like people, uh, what can I say, like for comedy, for comedy, he wanted to do something like that. And as he said, like his policy is like getting hurt for to make tens laugh. And he took that a little bit too far. And I feel like this is also happening because of the, uh, what can I say, insecure, insecurity he feels when as he sees his friend who has been with him for so long kind of going what can i say um you know kind of uh you know improving kind of you know getting better and better and better and him staying in the same place i think that's making him more desperate because that's not what you should do to a person holding a gun like he was basically like joking around with him and it's kind of sad in a way like you know what people's mental state can do like just because he was insecure so much i think that's what basically happened in in that scene where he tried to like you know negotiate with that person <laughs> negotiate yeah <laughs> anyways okay and uh, that was the thing with him okay now the uh, the other thing for this episode shirakawa now a lot of information we got here first of all Sh shirakawa dated dobu and she said something like he was weak and i what like he, she liked that part of him or something she couldn't l leave him alone something like that you know and uh, <laughs> i <laughs> and she said something like she he beat him beat her or something and like you know took loan from him and now this escalated to this now <sighs> Like, what else can I say? Like, I, I had this kind of an idea that something must be going on. And I said this from the beginning. But by the like, you know, third episode, I kind of thought that maybe I'm wrong. But uh, yeah, it, it is really true that he basically, he basically did this just because Dobu told him her to. And because he, he was under debt. And now the thing that she said in this episode, like, like you know, like she said something like, uh yeah i'm just a sec all right uh, she said something like okay like i'm this time i'm saying telling everything like, truthfully and then she said i like, really like you and all that thing now ah, now i believe her you know i believe her in this at least for this episode i really believe her because as i said like in the third episode or the, the fourth episode something like that i think the third uh the way she talked and everything it made me genuinely feel that she, you know like she genuinely is interested in him i'm not sure 
you know but i feel that and i also feel that hopefully she's telling the truth as she said in this episode and she was also crying so i yeah that's like you know like i'm sure that it's the truth that she said but like odokawa what else can i say like i don't blame him as well because he as he said like you know i i genuinely was kind of interested in you and then this happens and then like you know like obviously he's like like don't talk with me anymore he goes away but i don't know like hopefully i as i said like you know if there's one thing that i want for from this show is that by the end of it that everything works out well for them this is one thing that i really want for the from this show by the end and i think that might happen i'm not sure hopefully because you know like it still seems that Otoka really does still have a little feelings for Shirakawa as we saw like you know like when she, she when he said something like okay like you know like don't talk to me anymore and like went away uh, I was like oh boy like yeah this is probably the end at least from Otokawa's side but then when he like you know later on talks with Do uh, Dohu and he says that you should uh, you know remove the debt that Shirakawa owes you then I actually thought that, okay, like maybe there is a chance because, you know, like otherwise, why would he do that? If he really like, you know, really, what can I say? Like cut her off, Shirakawa off from his life. He wouldn't do that. So yeah, still a little hope. And hopefully uh, everything that Shirakawa told here was the truth and only the truth. And uh, hopefully by the end of it, everything works well. And uh, yeah, that's the only thing that I want so okay now <laughs> one thing i really liked here is that <laughs> no unnecessary drama you know what would have happened if this was some other type of a drama anime you know like those type of shoujo drama animes which kind of lengthen the thing so much you know it's frustrating if it was some kind of that show i'm going to tell you what would have happened here <laughs> um when <laughs> Odokawa to like you know messaged uh, like you know she uh, called Odokawa Odokawa did not pick up the phone and Odokawa said that don't talk to him anymore uh, I don't want to uh, keep contact with you <laughs> like they could have dragged this you know like like you know like they would have shown like Shirakawa would be thinking like why is this happening and she would be kind of indecisive and like you know like one or two days would pass and then he she would come in front of Odokawa and as she was sitting here Odokawa comes in Odokawa would have like you know as Odokawa said that go away I don't want to talk to you and when he would have gotten in like you know if this was that type of a show Shirakawa would go away and then probably like you know this, this whole thing would escalate and a weird type of drama would have been created and it would have been a mess you know <laughs> but what basically happens here is Shirakawa <laughs> as soon as Odokawa says that don't talk like you know don't talk to me she, he, she comes to his house sits down and when Odokawa comes and Odokawa says that I don't want to talk to you she starts <laughs> that's funny she starts screaming like Odokawa won't talk to me <laughs> Odokawa forcefully had to go and actually talk with him because you know like this is what actually <laughs> what should happen in these type of misunderstandings you should talk that's basically it talk with the other person like like not talking with someone and increasing the drama sometimes is really frustrating <laughs> you know it's as if like uh, like three or five episodes passes and the whole misunderstanding still continues but look at this episode it's a whole problem was you know cleared up in mere five ten minutes <laughs> just because Shirakawa was like you know like this Shirakawa was like no I will talk to you now and I will talk to you I don't care and she basically was like kind of screaming <laughs> oh my god that was funny that, that scene really caught me off guard <laughs> boy and uh, <clears throat> yeah okay what else all right, and then the, 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 another thing that happens is like, um, God, what, what was the name? The hippo's name? 
hippo he, he as i said he he is really pushing his boundaries now and i i told in the i, I discussed in the previous episode i was like yeah dogo won't, won't probably like you know do anything like he doesn't even care but now that he's doing stuff like this and the gun is missing from dogu now dogu has a real reason to actually go for um the hippo and <laughs> he's digging his own grave like i'm sure he also thinks that dogu won't really care and like you know he's getting drunk on that limited amount of like you know bare like a minimum amount of power that he actually gained from his social media posts and he's getting drunk on that power he's like oh i'm god or like you know like he said something like that didn't he like i'm close to god or something and uh, like it is pushing his boundaries and now obviously like <laughs> uska is going to go pick him up and bring him to do and i don't know what's going to happen after that like oh boy and i'm sure like as dobu said that you know dobu probably wouldn't have gone gone for him if the gun was not found with the halloween uh, uh, tanaka <laughs> you know and now basically what's happening is everyone as he said like you know everyone's connecting the tanaka with dobu and saying that dobu is doing this and even the gun is same so he might get falsely accused in a way even though he has done some uh, like you know bad things dobu but this thing he's not doing it but you know he might get falsely accused for it so yeah he really has some interest now to actually go for the hippo guy and stop him because you know like uh like this kind of ex- escalating he the hippo guy is kind of fanning the flames he's like oh we'll catch him we'll catch him and all the other people who are like you know responding to him who are technically his fans are also like you know doing everything uh, to help him to catch dobu or whatever and as he said like you know this this video would have been like, you know would have taken uh would have been sold for a lot of money but i got this for free because one of my fans did like you know gave me this or something like that so and dobu he really doesn't want to get into the spotlight because the job he does is something like that so as the hippo guy is fanning the flames and everything is getting more uh, into the spotlight dobu is going to get into problem now and now dobu has to act now you know he he has to go and stop him stop stop the hippo guy to you know to make like so that he doesn't make this even worse and yeah he is digging his own grave boy so yeah, don't don't do stuff like this <laughs> dangerous stuff oh boy okay and um, and uh, okay uh, that and also what's his name uh, odokawa odokawa also like um, talks with dobu to release yeah release shirakawa and you know erase her debt and as i said like and that's when i realized that she still has a little bit feelings for her and hopefully everything still works out i don't know but yeah okay another thing we got to know in this episode is the idol girl the main idol girl so she's i'm guessing dating baba i don't know i think so and uh, um like you know the way she actually talked in one of the previous episode like he has she has two face one face she shows in front of the fans and the other face that you know like that type of a face when she was talking with her manager that type of stoic face a face that doesn't even care about anything it feels like so i'm not sure if this is her outer mask face that she uses for her fan as he was talking to uh, baba or is this her real genuine feelings like she genuinely likes baba or is this something else like <laughs> everything in this show is like you know like everything is like a mystery in this show like you, you suspect each and everything the way this show is going <laughs> so that's why i'm thinking like which is real is is this her real feelings or is this something else i'll probably put my ba- bet on the latter one that this is something else this is not her real feelings i might be wrong but you know at least i don't know i feel something like that because it kind of like you know i don't know maybe it was a little odd when the manager was speaking in 
and I'm sure the manager saw everything happen and he did not react so I don't know like maybe this is also what one of the things that the manager told her to do you know just like the manager told the black furred cat girl to like, you know chat with some rich people and like you know squeeze money from them or something like that maybe it's a similar thing that's happening because Baba is famous now maybe he also told uh, the idol girl to like you know like interact with him and I don't know again like, these are all guesses so yeah and now and then in the next scene I kind of feel bad for the other guy in the homo sapiens you know and uh, like you know like it's really sad like they, they're friends and everything and they did everything on their own now like you know it feels he feels like his friend is going far ahead of him and he himself is kind of at a like, you know stop at a standstill he cannot move forward and yeah like there's a weird feeling of loneliness envy uh, what else like you know sadness uh, as he like you know as he's like walking down the road he sees like figurines of him posters of him of baba and uh yeah feels bad i don't know what's going to happen and uh, like this show it seems like like you know a few people has it best and a few people really has it worse in this show like look at tanaka like look at his what he's doing you know he has the worst of everyone i think in this show like he's completely gone crazy and he'll probably get like you know uh, arrested and like you know put into prison or something like that's probably what's going to happen by the end of it and yeah and then like you know like this guy the homo sapiens guy he also has it bad a few people who has got it good is um, who uh, i don't think anyone has got it good in this anime at all like people have circumstances here like there's only people who has it bad okay one person who has got his got it good is baba in a way you know like he is like living his life now oh ag also has it bad completely bad he he's basically like you know taking more loans and now i don't know what's going to happen like the loan sharks are going to come for him later on and yeah like and he, he's uh, i don't know and he's like eating sushi in that like oh boy <laughs> anyways okay another thing i kind of missed talking about is like this the, the guy the, the giraffe that we saw a new character and i think they said something like he's the actual person who used to write letters and he he was like talking with um the homo sapien guy not baba the other guy and saying something like you know like like in front of his taxi not taxi but his car and maybe something will happen like you know later on. maybe we'll see him more in the future so yeah, he, he looked really, like, you know, kind of <laughs> crazy. Like, his eyes were bloodshot and he was like, oh boy. So, yeah. Alright, so that was it, guys. That was this episode. This is episode number um, six of Odd Taxi. So, yeah, one thing, as I said, like, you know, one thing that I, I hope at least, like, I really believe Shirakawa now, at least now, the way everything is happening. Like she, like as she said, like you know, she did this basically kind of to trick Odokawa and actually have a contact with him. But now he, she says that she really likes him, and hopefully that's the truth. I don't know. I feel like that is the truth because she was crying and everything. So yeah, hopefully everything. No works out well i don't know so yeah so yeah guys that was it thank you guys for watching this is my reaction to our taxi episode number six so if you guys enjoyed my reaction press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say or anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah guys thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next uh, next week with another episode of our taxi so until then goodbye and have a nice day